What's up guys? How are you doing? Welcome to Chef Choi TV. In today's uh, video guys, you will uh, hear me talking in English because uh, as I always said that we have lots of um, foreign friends which is watching our video so we will try to speak in English or otherwise Taglish, Tagalog English so that they are able to understand what we are talking about so big shout out to all our foreign friends who is uh, uh, watching our videos thank you so much and today's video guys we will uh, cook again our our another hobby is done so we played basketball yesterday so today we will uh, cook again because it's been a while since the last time we cooked here all right guys so please bear with me and watch this video because we will cook something for tonight actually we will prepare this one for tonight and we will continue cooking for tomorrow so i will show you what we will cook today i mean tonight so as you can see here guys we have something here i think this is so familiar to you guys <laughs> yeah so we have cow feet here so it is the whole feet actually and we will uh, cook a famous uh, dish in Philippines which is uh, very known for southern central and southern part of the Philippines which is balbacua just very common in, in uh, this area and today we will make our own dish, uh, version of it so if you have some dishes that using this kind of protein or meat actually there's no meat here it's all skin and bone and little fat so if you have some dish that using this uh, uh, ingredients please comment down below so that we will try also to cook that one in the next video all right guys so first of all i'm going to chop this up actually not chop to cut it we just uh saw so i will come back later after this all right guys so we done um cutting our uh, uh beef legs after a year I'm just kidding so this is the one now this is how it looks like after uh, cutting it off after cutting it off so it, it goes like this and of course we are boiling also our water okay there you go so before we uh, cook this one uh, thoroughly we're going to uh, blanch this one first to remove some uh, impurities and uh, mostly scams of the uh, protein so that's why we boil water so we just drop it inside I think I put the uh, extra water anyway we just wait this one to uh, simmer and we will remove that one after all right guys so after we blanch the legs it will be like this so the scums and all the impurities of the meat will uh, develop in the upper part of the boiling water so what we will do is we will uh, wash this one we will change the water and we will reboil it again so that we will have a clean uh, meat or protein actually there's no meat there <laughs> it's all skin all uh, skin tendon and bones so it has lots of collagen on it which is good for your skin so i don't think it will be a problem to my gout because <laughs> i have a gout so what we will do now we will change the water and then we will reboil it we will add some seasoning and probably we will cook this one for like one and a half or two hours and then we will continue to boil this one 
after like later when we wake up so we will watch this one now Right, so for the second boil, we will uh, put uh, peppercorn, black peppercorn, and probably we will put also um, salt, so that while it's boiling, so we can uh, 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 we can make this meat uh, tasty because uh, the season the seasoning will penetrate inside. So we will add uh, the salt. So we will uh, boil this one for two hours and then we will continue later on. So actually the balbakwa, according to my research and what I saw in YouTube, that uh, it's, it's a Spanish uh, word that translate to a slow cooking in an open fire, something like that. Yeah, so probably if we are um, cooking some uh, tough uh, meat or tough uh, protein we used to have the pressure cooker and if, it, if we don't have pressure cooker that's the time we cook it for like slow fire but it takes time so probably my uh, timings for this is around three to four hours so it's already like um, almost three o'clock in the morning now here in Dubai so about four o'clock four thirty we will switch it off and then we will continue once we wake up later on and then we will add all the remaining ingredients on it so we will come back later all right guys so good morning so here we go this is our uh, continuation of um, uh, cooking last night so basically I uh, start already to open it before and I prepare also all our uh, other ingredients so it's been half an hour already since I uh, boiled again our um, uh, beef legs beef leg, I don't know <laughs> what do you call this one so yeah here we go So it's already soft, but the tendon uh, is still, uh, I think it's okay already. Yeah, yeah. So this is the tendon, the skin, tendon, tendon, and bone. All right. So here's also our uh, ingredients that we already uh, prepared before. So we will use uh, ginger. Uh, lemongrass right guys so this is a traditional way of um, um, wrapping the lemongrass and we will put also green chili and uh, garlic which is I just crushed it and onion and then later on we will put also um, red bell pepper some uh, scallion or green uh, green onion spring onion and for the garnish Garnish, not just on the top. 
and then we will uh, put also uh, tomato paste just for the coloring all right guys so disclaimer only balbakwa has uh, lots of uh, way to cook as long as it will be um, uh, slow cooking in uh, low heat and use mostly using his uh, skin one uh, beef skin or buffalo skin and yeah so that's what's called the uh, balbakwa because we have many ways of cooking it so this is my version so while we are waiting for this uh, boiling meaning the tendering of our um, protein we will saute some of these uh, ingredients and then we will add on that uh, boiling one so it gives uh, extra flavor when we saute the especially the garlic onion and ginger so we will try that one now so saucepan it's already uh, heated oil garlic ginger onion Uh, we had also bay leaf tomato paste We'll just take broth from here and we'll add there. So this is already uh, ready to mix to our uh, pot. So now we mix already some of our in, uh, ingredients. So we will add now the lemongrass while it's boiling and probably our capsicum or bell pepper and spring onion will be later because this is uh, too easy to be cooked. So we will add now our uh, lemongrass and chili. And we will try to taste it and if we need to add some seasoning we will do it
Okay, so I will uh, add a little piece sauce. I will add also black pepper and a little bit more salt. So we will wait for another hour, I think, in low heat, so it will be more uh, tender later on. So that time also, once we almost finish, we will add the remaining ingredients and then we are ready to go. So we will uh, come back later. Alright guys, so this is the update of our uh, cooking. So now it's really, uh, it's really tender and soft this one now so what we will do now is we will add our um, capsicum and uh, spring onion and then we just wait for the rice to be cooked and we are ready to eat okay so we will add now the capsicum just put all together it's fine So some people they're putting also this one a black beans. So since we don't have the black beans, so it's fine. Right, so it's really soft and tender already guys. Okay. So what we will do now is we just switch up the heat and we just leave it like that. And it's really, really easy. And the sauce is so rich. Yeah. Alright guys, so we are done with uh, cooking. So we just wait for our friend to come over and we will eat later on. So if you like this video guys, so just give me a thumbs up and if you're not subscribed yet to my channel, please do subscribe and click that notification bell. So you will be uh, updated for any videos that we're going to upload uh, soon. So thank you so much for the always support guys. Much love. Bye bye.